So while this video is super interesting, the statistics on it, um, I'm not really sure where the numbers are coming from. Try to look it up, try to research it, you know, cause that's what you do when you have questions and you're kind of like interested in something, look it up, do your own research. Not really sure where this, the numbers are coming from. So three takeaways from this. If you're constantly working out and your goal is strength, power, granted, right? We have to consider body weight. We have to consider diet as well as your longevity. Like if you're, what your goals are. I think 225 really isn't a lot of people's goal. It's uh, the sustainability, the day-to-day -day task. When we think about general population, if you are a young cat or someone that's consistently in the gym and you have bench press in your uh, routine, then I think that 225 could be an achievable goal, even for some females, right? So we're talking about like the top uh, natural females could potentially do a 225 uh, if they're training is on par with their goal. But does 225 make you any less of a person? No, your character does that. Your character defines who you are as an individual. So it doesn't matter if your, your bench is 225. It's a matter if you are looking to get healthy, if you're looking to get stronger, if you're looking to kind of find the longevity, again, longevity. 225 isn't gonna put more years on your life. Is it gonna make you feel good? Is it gonna boost your ego? Absolutely, right? So is it kind of that milestone that everyone kind of, when they start out, your goal is 225? Absolutely, then you hit 225, then your goal is 315, and then maybe, just maybe crazy enough, your goal is 405. But for me, I feel that these numbers are definitely kind of um, out there when you consider the entire population. What I would be interested in is a community-wide survey, right? A survey that actually kind of represents the number of people at all ages. Because if you consider NFL players, if you consider professional athletes, if you consider uh, all these uh, top tier, right, top tier um, per performance athletes, um, I think the numbers may be a little bit different. In my gym alone, you have the guys who are just naturally strong. You have guys who can just go in there with no training, very minimal training, like that farmer strength, um, and go do 225. Never never really been on a routine, just naturally strong. And then you also have those guys who are hyper responders. They jump onto a program and all of a sudden their numbers are shooting up. So I think there's a lot of things to consider here. Um, but I'd be interested to hear what your guys' thoughts are on this. Do you think it's true? Are these numbers accurate? If they're not, let me know. If you believe that these numbers are accurate, comment below. I'd love to see the research. I would love to see where the, the statistics are coming from because as a uh, lifter myself, um, I find 225 to be fairly easy for a lot of uh, people nowadays. And the goal for me is that 405. So I think it, I think it really depends on the individual and their performance, especially when it comes to genetics. So let me know your thoughts. See you guys later.